Hello everybody, my name is Teresa Fowler coming to you from Cochrane, Alberta, which is just west of Calgary. And today I'm going to read for you A Windy Day, Tales from the Faraway Farm. It's illustrated by Andrew Giesen. And written by Marilyn Tolhurst. This was one of my boy's favorite books. So here we go. It was a bright and breezy morning at Faraway Farm. Rosie looked out of her bedroom window. Come and look, Mom, she called. The clouds are like big fluffy sheep running across the blue grass. Mmm, looks like a good day for hanging out the laundry, said Mum. It will dry quickly in a breeze like this. So Rosie and Danny helped Mum sort all the laundry. There were sheets and towels, shirts and socks, Danny's muddy soccer jersey, Rosie's best party dress, Dad's striped sweater and the yellow polka dot mat that Conquer the dog slept on. Billy the rabbit needs a bath, said Rosie. His ears are dirty and he spilled hot chocolate on his jacket. It was you who spilled the hot chocolate on his jacket, laughed Danny. I only asked him if he wanted a little sip, said Rosie. So now as they're doing the laundry, do you think they should throw all their laundry in the same load? Or should they actually separate it? Do you help your parents do the laundry? And if you do, how do you help separate the laundry? Would you put dirty Rosie in with your sheets? <laughs> Mom put on the radio and sang along with the music. Rosie put in the detergent and Danny turned the knobs. Conker got under everyone's feet and Stan the cat kept trying to take a nap in the laundry basket. What kind of music do you listen to when you help your parents clean the house? We like to listen to world music, different types of music from all over the world when we clean the house. The last thing to go in is Billy the Dirty Rabbit. Soon the laundry was done and mom carried the basket full of heavy wet laundry. Rosie carried Billy. He was beautifully cleaned but now dripping wet. We'll hang Billy on the line too, said mom. He'll be dry in no time. So when they went outside, the wind was blowing hard. Joe, the farm worker, was trying to fix the gate and hold on to his hat at the same time. Oh, look at the cloud sheep, cried Rosie. They're really running fast now. Now, if you were gonna hang out laundry outside, would you hang it outside in a windstorm? I don't know if I'd be doing that. I'd pin that laundry on tight if I were you, shouted Joe. The wind is getting stronger and stronger. Mike can't even get his milk truck through because a tree fell across the road. Now what kind of storm do you think this is? Hmm, there's no rain, but it certainly is windy. So I wonder what kind of storm this is. What do you think? The sheets billowed like sails of a ship. The socks bounced up and down. Dad's striped sweater looked like it had somebody inside it. Danny spread his arms wide and ran around the yard pretending to be an airplane. Wee! I love windy days, he cried. Billy the rabbit is dancing on the line, exclaimed Rosie. Come on inside, you two, ordered Mum. The wind got stronger and stronger. It rattled the windows and made the whistling noises under the door. Look, here comes Jack, cried Rosie. Oops, the wind blew his hat off. Oh dear, said Mum. I think we better check the clothesline. What do you think? Where do you think their clothes are gonna be? Oh my goodness, there's a shirt up here. There's sheets over here. Oh, there's a sock. There's another sheet, there's a shirt. 
Oh my goodness, there's a mat. Oh, and look, there's a sh someone's shirt in that tree. They might have to wash it all again. What do you think? Whoosh, the wind nearly knocked them over when they went outside. Help, I'm being blown away, cried Rosie. So are all of Jack's letters. Look, they're all over the road. See the mailman? All of his mail's everywhere. Mom, gasped Danny, where is the laundry? Where's my soccer jersey? And where's Billy the rabbit? There were sheets in the hedges, socks in the duck pond, letters all over the road, and Dad's striped sweater was halfway up the apple tree. Here's my soccer jersey. It's muddier than when I played in it. Look, it's over here in the mud. Ugh. Conker found his polka dot mat and sat down on it to keep it from blowing in with the chickens. Conker seems like a pretty smart dog, don't you think? Well, that's about all of it, said Mom. Quick, let's take it inside before the wind gets it again. It looks like Jack found all his letters, said Danny. Uh-oh, but where is Billy the rabbit? Come and look at this, called Joe. The little piglets have a new friend. Right in the middle of the pig pen sat Billy the rabbit. The piglets were squealing with excitement and twirling their curly tails. Oh, there you are, you blow away rabbit, smiled Rosie. I know the piglets are very friendly, but now you've got mud all over your jacket. You are silly, Billy. I'll have to give you a bath all over again. The end. So now what I wonder if you'd like to share with me how do you clean the house? What kind of music do you listen to? Seeing as how we're all isolated in our homes, the best thing to do is do some cleaning up. So maybe you could let me know what music you listen to and how you help your parents clean your house. So from me and Gilbert, have a great day everybody.